all right guys so this is the most important video in this model of product research all right because i can teach you all the methods that i know and that are available or you might even go out there to search for more products um reception methods and still end up with a very bad product okay so this this video is very important and i advise you to go through it to the end so you understand the basics or the criteria for choosing a product to sell all right so number one criteria for choosing a product to sell is it has to provide an emotional benefit okay like i always say sell products that will solve real life problems so it has to appeal to people's emotions you need to understand that people base their decision making on emotions okay their buying decisions are based on emotions no one is going to buy a product out of logic it's when people have made the decision with their emotions and then they start backing it up and giving reasons why they actually made the decision using logic all right so you, the product should provide an emotional benefit it should provide an emotional benefit or a physical or functional benefit okay so these are the two main things that it has two main things your products must appeal to okay so it either should provide an emotional benefit or a physical or functional benefit now once you've identified a product that actually provides an emotional benefit or physical functional benefit we are going to look more into all of these and we understand uh, products that provide emotional physical or functional benefits all right so once you are able to find a product that appeals to people's emotions or physical um, benefit that benefits them physically then you start looking at the weights of the products you look at if it is bulky you don't want to you know buy products that are bulky or sell products that are bulky then you want to make sure that the product is not easily accessible so you want to go up there and look at places like Gigi, like jumia like conga and see if other people are selling it so you want to make sure that it's not everywhere someone cannot just walk into shop right and buy the product i hope you really understand what that means okay so you want to sell a product that it is not easily accessible and you want to make sure that the product that you're buying you should have at least a hundred percent return okay as profit after removing your your expenses remember i said the product has to either appeal to people emotions or provide a physical or functional benefit okay so only sell products that provide real life solutions or product that people are passionate about okay something that someone is passionate that it is appealing to their emotion that's emotional benefit emotional benefit and physical benefit or functional benefit these are very important things to look at when selecting your products all right so we're going to look at the basic emotions we have basic emotions which are anger fear sadness and happiness all other emotions they fall under these four basic emotions okay so whatever you're selling you want to make sure that it appeals to certain emotions it could be fear all right or it could be happiness and I, these are the emotions that will make you sell better either fear or on or happiness okay these are the two basic emotions that you want to make sure that your products are looking into or they are tackling okay now let's look at some emotional benefits emotional benefit like making someone to feel confident okay so you feel the person feels confident about how they look about their skin okay about their appearance so they are looking more attractive like one of the emotions i stated here look more attractive feel more loved all right feel feeling of importance okay so they feel important feel comfortable all right and um, feel powerful get noticed or feel safe okay so these are some emotional benefits there are a lot of other emotional benefits that you can actually target to make sure your products sell better okay so you want to make sure that your products should be providing an emotional benefit okay it's even, it's even better it is amazing if your products can provide an emotional and a physical benefit but if it can it should at least 
um, provide an emotional benefit or a physical benefit. Then, you, of course, before you start looking at the other criteria which we talked about, and we talked about other criteria, lightweight and not as accessible, and of course, um, should sell for at least 100% return. But emotional benefit and physical benefit, those are very important things that you should look at. And physical benefits are like saving time, okay, a product that saves people time, that saves them money, that simplifies life for them, okay, that makes things, that provides convenience, right, that makes them healthier. These are functional or uh, physical benefits. All right, so we are quickly going to look at different product samples that you should sell and not sell. Remember, this is based on choosing products that are going to provide either emotional or physical benefits. All right, so let's look at certain products. Okay, now this is uh, a car tracker. Okay, now what emotion do you think this is going to appeal to? Of course, feeling of being safe. Right. People want to be safe, especially in a place like Nigeria, whereby your car can easily be stolen or you might even get into trouble. Your child can have issues, can be kidnapped. And so having a tracker will help you um, feel safe, provide that kind of um, safety, especially in a place like ours where security is a big deal. Right. So this is a, um, a, a type of product that you should be looking at selling. I'm not saying that you should go ahead and start selling this particular product. Remember, there are other criteria you need to look at as well. I'm just trying to tell you products that appeals to people's emotions or that provides emotional benefit or physical benefit. This is how you look at those products. Remember, once you've identified a product and provides the physical or emotional benefit, there are other criteria that you also want to look to like not easily accessible, lightweight, and all of that. Okay, now I have another one here. This is a hair growth product. Okay, this product helps to grow people's hair. So, this product is going to provide um, one um, confidence, okay, um, feeling more attractive, right? For instance, people who have short hair or bad hair or uh, you know, short edges for females. The reason why they want to grow their hair is that they want to feel more attractive and feel more confident about how they look. All right, so that is the emotion that you target when you advertise such products. Okay, or when you advertise a product like this. Now, this is another product for beauty as well. So, what this product does is that it helps to give uh, give uh, you a V shape look. Okay, it gives your face. The, because you know there are a lot of people, there are some persons who have the shabby around face, okay? And such persons wants to have a V-shape which make, make them look more attractive, okay? So this is the kind of product that you can look to, to sell, all right? Remember, I'm not saying you should go ahead and start selling this product. I'm just telling you how you, you, you identify a product, that, that, a product that provides an emotional benefit or a physical or functional benefit. Right, that's the essence of what I'm doing right here, okay? Um, now, this is another product in the men's health niche, okay? This product helps uh, men to grow bigger, helps their penis to grow bigger. So, what this um, does is that it makes men to feel more powerful, okay? Because, of course, men want to feel powerful, want to feel dominant, all right? So, that's the emotional benefits that this product is providing. Okay, now let's move on to the next product. Okay, um, this is a product that helps to monitor um, people's heart rate and uh, your blood pressure and all that. So this product will help make people feel healthier. Okay, makes them to know if they are healthy and all those. So this is providing a physical and functional uh, benefit. Okay, now this is another product that um, helps to massage your neck for people who have neck pain and all that for from sensing long hours or driving long hours. You know, this is a product that helps to solve such uh, pain. Okay, so um, this is a product that helps people to feel more healthier as well. Okay, so it provides a physical 
and functional benefit. Okay, so I have another product here. Uh, this product helps to you know make your floors or whatever utilities you have more shiny. Let me play the video here so you um, see exactly what it does. Okay, so that's it. You can see that the product helps you to provide a physical benefit. Okay, so uh, for instance, you go ahead using the regular sponge that we have is you can actually easily damage your uh, your palm or whatever it is you're you know trying to use for the scrubbing. But this with this, the handle helps you to have a grip and it provides a clean surfaces. All right, so it provides a physical um, benefit okay here is another one here this is a teeth whitening product okay this one helps provide an emotional benefit of confidence all right so it makes you more confident with your smile there are a lot of people who really don't, don't smile a lot because they know that they have brownish teeth or yellowish teeth all right so this will provide um confidence so when you advertise this you speak to people's emotions oh uh, how about you get a confidence smile all right so be confident about your smile. Um, have a whiter smile. Okay, so something like that. So you speak to people's emotions. All right. So this is another product. Now, now if you look at it, this is a wristwatch, but it's not just a regular wristwatch. It's more like a military wristwatch. Okay. So this product is going to um, pro it provides uh, a sense of belonging to a group. Okay, and that sense of power. Okay, so it provides that sense of power. All right, here is another product. Uh, what this product does is, of course, it provides, it saves you time, time of going to want to go to the gym for you to have abs and all that. It's, it saves you that time and makes you more attractive. So it gives you confidence. Okay, so you can see that this one is speaking um, to people's emotions at the same time providing a physical benefit. All right, so this is another product. What this product does is that it gives the interior of your of your car a different look entirely. All right, so what does this what does this do? It gives you um, that feeling of uh, being separated. Okay, so of not being regular. All right, so it, it appeals to that emotions. We have another product here. Okay, so this product helps to remove wax from the ear all right so i don't know rather than using um your regular uh, board a uh, cutting board to remove wax from the ear you use something like this to provide in to prevent injury okay and all that and damaging your ear board of yourself or that of your kids okay so provides that safety okay it, it provides that sense of safety and of course um, being healthier um, right here so this is a smart watch so you can uh, use this to monitor your blood pressure your your steps so it's basically for people who are in fitness so this provide um, a physical benefit as well right okay it's the same thing aha uh -huh. so this product um, is a robotic, um, a, a robot vacuum cleaner. So you just set it on the floor and you just go ahead and clean um, your house on your environment. So what this means, what what this means is that it's providing uh, convenience. Okay, it provides convenience. So it saves you time. Okay, so the time that you will have used to go ahead cleaning your house and all that something um, does that for you. All right, so this is another product that helps to um, give you good posture. So, you know, a lot of people who slash a lot and um, in return, they tend to have back pain and all that. So this is providing a physical and health benefit also. It makes you feel healthier, right? And the physical benefit makes, makes you look more attractive, of course. So if you have 
um, it treats uh, posture rather than a slouching position. You, you look more attractive. You can see the difference between these two um, photos right here. Okay, this is before and after. You can see the difference of how the person looks. All right, so this also provides, um, it's still for pain, so that's uh, it makes you feel healthier, physical benefit. So that's a physical benefit. And this is a physical benefit as well. It helps with your neck pain, right? Okay, so this is another product, just like the one we looked at earlier for, uh -huh, you can see the one we looked at earlier here, but this is like another version of it. So you can see um, arms and leg with massage, I'm gonna switch it. So it is for tonings for your muscles to look more um, attractive. So this provides an emotional, and a, and um, the physical um, benefit okay okay so this as well provide that um, physical and emotional benefit because it's going to make you look more attractive and um, you know you look healthy as well okay okay so this helps to slim your your neckline so for people who have that uh, um, they pull on their neck, especially there are a lot of women usually have that on the neck, so it helps to remove that from that from the jawline, right? So this provide uh, kind of provide um, confidence, okay, on um, for them to look more attractive. So it gives that um, emotional benefit of confidence, right? Okay, so this as well uh, helps to um, gives you more confidence when you have, yeah, you have a clear skin. You have a clear and smooth skin. Um, this is same. We've talked about something like this that provide a V-shaped facial look. So this is another product. This provides safety as well. So this is uh, a like a spy camera, right? So this provides um, safety, physical benefit, um, and it still appeals to people's emotions as well, right? People want to feel safe. Now let's talk about products that you don't want to sell. Products that they shouldn't be selling. For instance, look at this product right here. This is a T-shirt. Okay, so you don't want to sell things like this. Things that people can easily walk into a shop and buy. Okay, remember the things that we'll be talking about now. That we have been talking about are products that you should be looking at. Products that provide physical or emotional benefit. Now the T-shirt does not provide any physical or emotional benefit. Okay, of of course there are people who, who can sell this and still make money, but it's going to be difficult for you who want to start selling uh, and you want to start um, selling things, importing and selling things like this. It's going to be more difficult for you. Okay, it becomes very easy to sell something that provides an emotional or a physical benefit. Okay, so you don't want to sell things like this. You don't want to sell earrings, something like this. Okay, you don't want to sell that. You don't want to sell. Things like this, like uh, memory cards. You can see the number of orders that these people are selling you, but this is not the kind of products that you want to sell, okay? Because it's going to take a lot of marketing skills for you to be able to sell something like this. And mind you, this is easily accessible, okay? Um, you don't want to sell things like this. So this is nail polish, okay? This is for women for their nails. You can see the number of orders here, but this is not something that you should start selling as a beginner, okay? Or something like this for phone and all that, phone charging, or something like this, okay? Like a protective um, glass cover and all that, you know? These are not the things you should be selling. Okay, all shirts like this. Now you can look at the number of orders that this is happening. Yeah, a lot of people are selling this, but then it's going to be very difficult for you to sell something like this, all right? Because you have to, you know, have lots of good marketing skills for you to be able to sell something like this. Um, you can see this power bank, you can look at the number of orders over 5,000 orders. So, but you shouldn't sell this. Okay, because it's going to be difficult for you to market a product like that. All shoes, okay, shoes. These are the things that you shouldn't be selling, right? Remember, always sell um, or look for products that appeal to people's emotions or provide physical or functional benefits. You always want to sell products that provide real-life uh, solutions, okay? They should solve real-life problems. 
real life problems means someone is providing emotional benefits or it's providing physical or functional benefits. People don't care about how a product looks. They only care about themselves, what the product is going to do for them. So if it, if a product does not provide either an emotional benefit or a physical or functional benefit, you should pass. Don't import or sell such a product. All right. So I hope this really guides you in your product selection. Okay. So don't make the mistake that every other person out there is making. I hope you get this right and do this the right way. Go ahead and use the product research modules and make sure you remember these criteria and even other ones that I have talked about.